Welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, a Chrome app uh, Postman which you can use to test your web API. So let's get started. Uh, basically you can install something called Postman uh, from the Chrome apps and as soon as I run it you can see it's uh, going to just come up. Sometimes it takes a second or two so let's just kind of wait for it to come up. So at this point, you're basically ready to test any web API do you want. Uh, there are different verbs you can test. So for the testing uh, for a get, I'm just going to use my website. It's pretty straightforward. So I can just say send. And here you can say you can do a preview and you can uh, look at the HTML. Uh, you can look at the raw response and you can also look at the headers. And also you can actually uh, run something called test and let me just show you how to do that in this case it, it says the test is passed so if you want to uh, go go to the tab called test and uh, let me just show you how to just quickly uh, do a test for a response header and you want to check that the status code is 200 so that's just the test and uh, once you run it it's going to run the test and it says the test has passed and let's say if you wanted to just make sure the test status code, you can change it to two, uh, 201. Uh, that's what you're looking for, for example. Uh, you can say it's going to fail because it's not returning 201. So that's a pretty easy way to add uh, different snippets. And Postman does have several snippets where you can check for things like your response time is going to be less than uh, some um, let's say one second or something. So let's just uh, try it on my website for example here So I'm going to call it uh, one second So it's like thousand and we can just kind of run it and see we, It says the response time is less than thousand milliseconds So actually it's a pretty good way to do this and you can also save this test uh, in a new collection name uh, tests for example and you can run those things later on so it's pretty easy you can run this again from there and it can be pretty helpful uh, to uh, create tests and run those tests so hopefully that um, you might find useful another thing I wanted to quickly share with you while I'm doing this is uh, that you can look at certain uh, web APIs uh, if you just wanted to test you can go to my uh, website search for angular tool something and I'll put in a link for this called JSON placeholder API's and this API's can be really useful for a quick test for example if I do a get on a particular post uh, I can see something coming up here and uh, obviously we can uh, run the same thing through postman and here I'm going to set up this new post one or oh, actually I had to put in the full name yeah but you get that idea you can uh, go and get the full name for the website and add that and then you should be able to just run this thing and we can see uh, the response body was actually uh, it came up uh, as none because I think I didn't have it uh, set up properly as posts Here. So you can see it, it works for various different uh, uh, verbs. If you wanted to test different verbs, you can kind of do it on your own. Here is an example for a post, a put and a patch. And uh, hopefully you get this idea and you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching this short screencast on Postman. Oh, uh, another thing you can do is uh, you can install something called the Postman extension or uh, Postman interceptor. And that can be useful if you want to look at the cookies and stuff. So here you can look at the cookies because it will intercept the data. And uh, that can, this extension is also pretty useful. Thanks.